Yo, what's going on, guys? It's boy Ujin. Of course, we're back again once again with another. Well, I mean, yeah, it's another Dragon Ball video, and it's finally great to talk about this because I'm sure, as as well as you guys, I have been waiting for a very long time to start bringing back more Dragon Ball content outside of just doing the manga chapter reviews. Now we finally have the official Dragon Ball official site. I feel like we're gonna be using the word official a lot nowadays and this is a beautiful website what we're pretty much going to do is we're going to kind of go over some of the website itself kind of show you some of the features but i mean it's all pretty self-explanatory so for the majority i'll definitely have to say i'm not going to go over everything in complete detail but just to kind of show you guys a little glimpse of what it's like if you haven't been on it already i'll obviously have a link to the website below but more importantly we're going to talk about the biggest thing and the big news that we could take out of all of this and right now at the time of this recording it is is definitely Goku Day, aka Goku Day, because you know, Goku, if you didn't really know why it's called that, it's not just because it's actually Goku's birthday, it's because Go is the month five in Japan and Ku is the number nine. So May 9th, boom, I, you're welcome. So, yeah, so let's just get right, right into the site, and um, here we go. So First things first, let's kind of start off with talking about obviously the biggest elephant in the room and it's probably the Tori bot message right down here because you guys can see where I'm pointing and whatnot. The big announcement obviously, the new Dragon Ball Super movie is planned for 2022. So naturally, I'm glad that we at least got a message from Akira Toriyama himself because much like with the Super Broly movie, he will be um, not directing, but he will be writing the script for this one as well and i am actually very excited to see what it could be about so let's just get really uh well let's get into the message really quick so he does say that an all-new movie since dragon ball super broly is currently in the making so this has been being worked on since back then if you remember the movie initially came out in the winter season of 29 no 2018 excuse me dragon ball super broly came out in 2018 in japan and then it finally started coming out in um north america's uh, in november in, in december i'm sorry i'm getting uh, i'm in january wow i'm like all over the place right now um and i remember that specifically because it came out i think i think like around week two in january and i i remember being invited by funimation to go see it with brother Uch um in new york city so that was a really um fun time so this movie has been in the works since then, all right, since arguably since 2018. So by the time this movie comes out, it'll literally be four years in, in accordance to Japan's time. So that's a long ass time. And just like the previous movie, I'm heavily leading the story and dialogue production for another amazing film. So he is leading the film like I mean, that sounds like a script uh writing position to me if you know dialogue production for another like he he's he is definitely has his hands on with this film and that's amazing to know okay he says he really shouldn't talk too much about the plot yet but be prepared for some extreme and entertaining bouts which may feature an unexpected character now listen i ha i kind of have a reputation here and maybe not just on this channel but just in general i have a reputation for predicting things and things just happening and, and you know just to kind of quickly sum up some of the things that i predicted here um on this very youtube channel is just the simple fact that a i would i always at some point knew that way before battle of gods and way before we we learned that dragon ball z was just coming back in general i obviously knew that one day it was going to come back and two i predicted broly i predicted broly that at some point once dragon ball z came back that broly would also come back in some form fashion and not just in a game not just in anything like that where well, that's like a cop out i mean he's he's on the cover of everything but it was because of his involvement and being such a popular character over the many years of dragon ball being you know around is that they've always managed to find a way to use him several times and over and i mean so much so that they invited me at kamea con number two they invited me back individually myself to go and give a panel based on why i believe that Roly is the embodiment of change and potential and whatnot so filled a nice room full of awesome people shout out to the geekdom shout out to the staff behind kamea con for that opportunity even though, even though it happened years ago i'm still very grateful for that um and uh yeah I, I hopefully i educate a few people that you guys can actually check out that video um it's still uh, on the channel you have I'll, I'll put a link in or eye above my head or something like that 
But yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm bringing all that up just so you guys know that I'm not gonna just go on a whim and just make some kind of far off prediction here and say like it's gonna be some obscure character. Toriyama is saying an unexpected character. Obviously, I made it very clear that even with how they brought Broly back, an unexpected character could literally directly mean cooler because maybe to some fans, I mean, I don't know who those fans might be because I feel like a lot of the consensus, if you look online on any of the social media outlets, basically Twitter, right, is that uh, everyone agrees with it. It's probably going to be cooler. And I'm definitely... 100% with that, I really would think and feel like if you were going to do anyone else that was a, you know, loved character, a favorite of some other fans of the series, after Broly, I mean, who's the next best thing that would have so much involvement, I think, and it would just make perfect sense to kind of just fit right in like a puzzle piece in a, in a bigger grand puzzle here it is cooler i mean he's directly related he's freaking freeze's brother so there's so many things that they could do from that and it, it, it would be really cool to see how cooler would kind of play some kind of part in the current story and we don't know exactly when they're gonna start this movie where the movie's gonna take place if it's gonna be after the 10 year skip if it's gonna be after moro are they skipping moro or if or is his reference to unexpected character does this mean um that it's someone that people just really wouldn't like expect and my next pick would actually not even be more i think it would basically be yamoshi i think yamoshi is a pretty safe guess or bet if you want to call it that um that i i i truly feel like since they already name dropped yamoshi in the past and they already had mentioned previously and now when i say they i mean okira toriyama is that this has kind of been a seed that was already planted many many years ago within an interview and that I would personally love to see more lore being brought out in the whole Dragon Ball, you know, multiverse, I guess you could say, or just grand, grand, in the grand scheme of things, the Dragon Ball universe as we know it is very big. And there's a lot of things that we still don't even know about. And, you know, when it comes to like the, the true origins of Saiyans, I think that if they were to explore it, whether it's through a movie, a TV series, a game even a manga i think that would be something that fans would absolutely love and there's so many different avenues to go with here um and so wrap to wrap this up we'll be charting through some unexplored territory in terms of the visual aesthetics to give the audience an amazing ride so i hope everybody will look forward to the new movie so as far as that concern um I, I, I hope that this does not mean cg i really ho would hope that it's not like some kind of uh, uh what was that one netflix anime that i watched a while ago um regardless um i i really hope that that's not exactly what they're referring to because i feel like if they went that route um it definitely will turn off a lot of people um especially when we do know that guys like shintani are 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 still going to be involved okay shintani is who who was a part of um, Dragon Ball Super Broly, and since then it was pretty much confirmed that Shintani was pretty much was going to continue working on Dragon Ball projects to bring Dragon Ball that manga artistic feel, where it's you know rounded faces, excuse me, and whatnot. So I I, I really do think that if he's going to still be involved, I'm I'm very curious as to exactly what kind of visual aesthetics they're going to bring to the table. So that's something that we're going to have to put a little asterisk next to because um, we still have to uh, exactly see what that's all about. So, of course, that's pretty much it um, in regards to the official announcement of Dragon Ball Super Movie number two um, slated to release in 2022. As far as a date, we don't have a date yet. But if you ask me, my guess would be probably around the summertime. Um, or if they're really trying to push this, I mean, if it's been in the works since 2018, 2019, um, I, I would think that it would definitely be ready for a summertime 2022 release. If, if they're going to be super nice and depending on how far along they actually are with this film, um, I want to say that, you know, who would know, who knows, maybe we, we could get it 
um, maybe in the, er in, in the early spring, maybe we can get it in uh, February, March, something like that. Um, and, I, and I would love if this is just like they treated this website. Um, where the website is a uni it's universal, it's, it's a worldwide international site that supports multiple languages. You can't see it because I, my, my face is covering it, but in this little corner, I just clicked on it and it brought up a Japanese, English, French, um, I believe that's Dutch and English. So it has five different language supported, languages supported for for this website and it's pretty dope so as 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 far as that i'm concerned when it comes to the movie it would be really nice if they had a worldwide global release just like any other film might um that's super popular and i feel like if anything dragon ball should definitely be the one to do it i mean it's a very iconic and popular um piece of media and just a franchise that's you know very well known all throughout i personally still feel like broly is the greatest anime film of all time it's one of my absolute number one favorites but to quickly wrap up this video so i don't hold you guys for too long because i'm sure there's a lot of content creators out there and a lot of others that are you know covering this exciting bit um just to kind of let this site just do its thing to show you exactly what's going on i mean look how awesome this site looks they're doing synopsis of the new chapters they have something highlighting a, a piccolo com com commemoration day um and they're also showing off stuff you know news relating to the toys i mean i'm definitely pre-ordering that super saiyan 4 goku which is slated to come out in october pre-orders are actually going to be going up on may 11th there's stuff about dragon ball fighters and obviously the opening with the official site right here at the forefront again scrolling down we have some highlights again more you know videos in relation to other pieces of dragon ball so this site is going to be like the centerpiece it's going to be the home for anything you can imagine in relation to dragon ball if it has a dragon ball name on it it'll most likely definitely be covered here on this website whether it's a game um card the card game um any of the mobile games the manga itself um any other kind of highlights videos uh, we could check out the news i'm sure like you know tidbits like you know goku day may 9th obviously they're gonna have a piece right here they're gonna talk about the the hit series v-jump which is obviously the manga right now um you know all like i said with the figure like i'm sure like if there's any other figures like look they have the bulma one right down here the namek saga bulma arrives in sh figure series just to click on this one really quick uh, let me see if i can find it for you so orders will be available in japan for a limited time from may 7th jst so you can actually pre-order this right now if this interests you um, i'm a little bit of a figure collector myself obviously i have a lot more power rangers and tokusatsu related things um, because i didn't bring all i only really have dragon ball statues and i have more back at my home in jersey but um right now i only brought broly with me because i mean come on we already know uh we already know what's up but yeah i'm actually definitely going to try to get my hands on that super saiyan 4 figure up here i'll just click on that so you guys can see it um how they display it. it looks like a really really cool figure they even detail exactly what it comes in down here and more information with the click uh, clicking that link below um now obviously because the site is just is literally brand new um you're not it, it's i don't think it's gonna be like fully packed up with with information and all these different types of resources it like i said it literally just came out so i definitely would t would give it a little bit of time and i'm sure that this thing is going to be booming um as it is obviously this is the video section right here just to give you guys a little quick glimpse of what it what it looks like now this is a dragon ball fighters dojo so that looks pretty interesting um to check out if you guys are still playing fighters i'm still i i play fighters on occasion i haven't i'm not gonna lie i've been very busy with power Rangers battle for the grid and trying to complete my backlog which you guys can get updates on on my video game channel but um yeah i mean i dev on my backlog i will say right now that i definitely have to go back and actually finish kakarot that's that's uh, that's something that's been on that list for a very long time um but yeah like i said not a lot of new things outside of the official news on the movie so we're not getting an anime yet but right now we at least know that what they have been working on has been the movie so you guys can definitely look forward to more um out of me in regards to dragon ball related things aside from the manga if anything else comes out 
especially from this official site in relation to anything that's animated um uh then yeah definitely i will be doing more videos like this so we can kind of have more of these conversations and i am looking forward to seeing what you guys are thinking about if i'm actually really curious to see if there's anyone out there that doesn't think that the unexpected character is cooler um, and I would love to hear who else you might think it is. If, if, if there are anyone, any, anyone, any, anyone that's out there that thinks it'll be Yamoshi, please let me know because there's so many different scenarios that we can, I guess, come up with. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited as you guys probably would already have guessed. And, uh, I'm looking forward to definitely bringing more Dragon Ball content through this website. Um, hopefully they definitely have a lot of exclusives and whatnot. So We'll definitely be covering stuff as it comes out. So this has been your boy, Ooch. Make sure you guys are liking, sharing, and subscribing. Hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links and the link to this site will be in the description as always. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourself. May the power protect. Keep it locked with it right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I will see you guys next time.